My job isn't getting any easier. You don't have to go while you got M.O. Star Wars Attack of the Sand. Or at least that's what I'd call it. Okay, so this was released in 2002, three years after The Phantom Menace. And some people were still excited for it, but not as much because The Phantom Menace was crap. But people were still expecting greatness. And it didn't come. So I know what you're wondering now. Is this movie worse or better than The Phantom Menace? Because that's what a lot of people seem to struggle between which one is better and which one is worse. In my opinion, Attack the Clones is slightly better than The Phantom Menace. Just slightly, though. Did I just say Attack the Clones? That would have been a much better title. But anyway, the reasons why I think Attack the Clones is better is because it has less Jar Jar Binks. Always a plus. And not one mention of midi-chlorians. Always a plus. And there's one really funny scene in Attack of the Clones. You'll want to buy some death sticks. You don't want to sell me death sticks. I don't want to sell you death sticks. You want to go home and rethink your life. I want to go home and rethink my life. That's hilarious. And yet again, John Williams' score is great. Obviously, he's like the best composer ever. The standout being Across the Stars, which is a great romantic bit of music. And then everything in this movie is basically terrible. The acting is yet again non-existent, especially with Hayden Christensen, who I'd say is a good actor, but here he's terrible. And I don't blame him. I blame George Lucas because he's the director and the writer. I mean, seriously, who says things like, I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating and it gets everywhere. Not like here. Or, I'm haunted by the kiss that you should never have given me. And probably worst of all, I truly, deeply love you. I mean, this is some of the worst dialogue ever written. And the CGI in this movie is really excessive and terrible. It makes the action scenes really dull and unexciting. I mean, the direction certainly has something to do with that, but the CGI does not help. This movie is way too over reliant on CGI. Even for the creatures. Like Dexter Jetster? How's it going? They're terrible! The pacing is all over the place. It doesn't flow together at all. In that one scene, basically all of the humor used in this movie is really forced and not very funny. The plot is a little better than The Phantom Menace, but overall not very interesting. And they try giving Boba Fett a backstory, and it really doesn't work. It's one of the most underdeveloped backstories ever. But the worst thing about this movie is that at the end, Yoda gets a lightsaber. I mean, Yoda, the best character of all time, because he doesn't use a lightsaber, gets one. It basically stops making him likable, at least for me anyway. And the final lightsaber fight is pretty bad. Probably the worst one in all of the Star Wars series. I mean, it's all really poorly choreographed, it's really badly shot, and it just is not very exciting. Or emotional, which is more important. And just when the movie gets interesting, it ends. Over two hours of a waste of time for you. I'm gonna give Attack of the Clones a 1.5 out of 10. Only slightly better than The Phantom Menace, but still utter crap. Yeah, I forgot to mention this in my Phantom Menace review, but if you haven't, check out the Mr. Plinker reviews for all of the Star Wars prequels on Le Red Letter Media, because they are awesome. Probably the best reviews for any movies ever, so definitely check those out if you haven't already. So I'll have my review for Revenge of the Sit out soon, so look out for that. And subscribe, and join the Tim Army.